Where do we draw the line between sharing and oversharing online? Is it outright doxing yourself on TikTok Live? And if you're wondering why I'm not at home, I'm at my church for Bible camp. Or is it discussing hilariously degenerate activities with minors on your Discord server? Or perhaps it's revealing your deepest and darkest secrets to ruthless trolls who want nothing more than to see you fail. I'm at my breaking point. Your effing trolls who have nothing else spare you! Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, we'll be diving into one of the dumbest degenerates on TikTok, from the numerous allegations of PDF file activity, to the self-doxing and horrible responses that embarrass himself in front of millions. This is the story of Gabriel Gage, better known on the internet as Nova Online. While Nova garnered most of his audience on TikTok, it wasn't the first platform he made content for. On the 29th of June 2020, Nova created the YouTube channel named The Novine Universe, with his first upload coming around two months later. As with many emerging creators, Nova's Let's Play videos weren't there yet in terms of quality or engagement, but that didn't stop him from trying out different games in hopes of one going viral. From Fortnite to Minecraft to Brawlhalla, Nova was doing everything he could to find his footing on YouTube and grow past getting only a few dozen views per upload. Although Nova began to see some success in his later uploads, he decided to take a considerably long break following his I'm making some changes to the channel upload, which described his future upload schedule. I'd actually like to get a video out almost every day to every other day. At the time, this was the most popular video on his channel, with over 5,000 views and a comment section that showed people were still interested in watching his videos. Unfortunately, whether due to the lack of motivation or preoccupation with other things in his life, the uploads would end here for now. But that only applied to his YouTube channel. In Nova's mind, if YouTube wasn't going to give him the success he deserved, then maybe another popular video sharing platform would. By 2021, Nova decided to move his uploads away from YouTube and onto TikTok in hopes of reaching a much wider audience. In theory, TikTok offers a far lower barrier for entry and a higher likelihood of going viral, with just one well-placed video. However, there was still the matter of creating and publishing the said video. For the next year, Nova would go through dozens of video ideas and trends, from lip sync videos to comedy sketches. Nova was once again experimenting with a variety of ideas, and fortunately for him, it paid off this time, but not in a matter that he thought it would. On the 25th of June 2022, Nova put out a Wingstop review that would go on to give him that long-awaited lucky, or rather unlucky, break. Trying Wingstop for the first time. Cajun seasoned fries. Okay. Mildly spicy, but nothing that I can't bear. These are actually pretty decent, 8 out of 10. With over 9 million views and thousands of comments, this was the most engagement Nova had ever seen. But sadly, these astounding metrics weren't the results of Nova's groundbreaking food review. It was his appearance that viewers associated with stereotypical Discord moderators. With comments reading, average Discord mod, and try to go outside for the first time. Negative commentary or not, Nova was now determined to recapture that virality as he doubled down on making more food reviews. And after after a few tries, it worked again, but for similar reasons to the first. On the 6th of July 2022, Nova broke his previous record with a Monster Energy review that garnered over 11 million views. The only problem was that Nova doxed himself in the process, a mistake that would come back to haunt him. Showing Ultra Sunrise Monster Energy, and if you're wondering why I'm not at home, I'm at my church for Bible Camp. We're just waiting to board a bus to go to Cusick. So, we're showing Ultra Sunrise Monster Energy in the morning before we go. It's 7.46 a.m. First impression. Smells like orange juice. Nova's newfound exposure launched his followers into the hundreds of thousands, a feat he could have only ever dreamed of. However, this also meant that more people were looking into his other online activities, and what they're about to find was beyond disturbing. To promote his other social media platforms, Nova included a solo.to link in his TikTok bio. At a first glance, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary, but a quick peek into his Discord server, Novine Universe, changes all of that. Users 
those who were brave enough to join the server were greeted with images of Nova engaging what can only be described as age regression, when a person's thoughts, emotions, and behavior revert to that of an earlier stage of development. From photos of him wearing diapers to conversations about wanting a messy diaper, Nova was sharing rather personal and concerning details about himself with whoever found their way into his server. While these discoveries weren't damning in and of themselves, it's important to remember that most of Nova's audience came from TikTok, which has a predominantly young viewer base. This led many to suspect that Nova was putting this disturbed imagery in front of minors. Sadly, in mid-2022, these suspicions were confirmed when videos of Nova acting inappropriately in Discord calls with minors surfaced on TikTok. Don't be surprised if I fall asleep on call again. I won't be surprised. As you said, I've been looking cute when I sleep. Yeah. Nova already had a few trolls enjoyed targeting him, and degenerate activity like this was only going to add fuel to the fire. Numerous TikTok accounts dedicated to trolling Nova began sharing this information, and it wasn't long until the church he referenced in his earlier videos became aware of the situation. In response, the church excommunicated Nova and alerted local authorities of his deplorable actions. As you'd expect, Nova wasn't all too pleased with these events, and when to TikTok Live to vent his frustrations. Y'all are being legitimate assholes. Have you ever seen an episode of Darman? You would know to not be an asshole to people you don't know nothing about. Don't judge people before you get to know them. Proof my ass, it's all photoshopped. It's been proven. I'm at my breaking point. You're effing trolls who have nothing else better to do. Even though he was trying to frame this as an attack from the trolls, Nova was frantically doing damage control behind the scenes. With messages from Nova reading, they need proof of me being a child for me to get arrested, as well as, I need all the evidence I can get that proves I'm not a DM me with all the evidence you can. By September, the trolls were doing whatever they could to get more reactions out of Nova. From raiding his Discord server multiple times to fully doxing him, the trolls were relentless in their mission to frustrate Nova at every turn. The views and engagement on Nova's TikTok page were becoming less about his content and more about the drama that surrounded him. However, Nova didn't recognize this fact as he continued to post food reviews and occasionally rant about the trolls. Whether Nova was aware of it or not, his need for online recognition Recognition and reluctance to address the skeletons in his closet was a recipe for disaster. Disaster that it was nowhere near ready to handle. By December 2022, tales of Nova's dark deeds had spread beyond TikTok and were now making the rounds on YouTube, with the user Underflow documenting every detail. I found that Nova followed a multitude of underage children, boys and girls, and people who suck on binkies, people who are so fucking young and insane. In addition, Underflow also covered Nova's involvement involvement in an animation project dubbed Ohio the Anime, which was later revealed as a scam that collected money from aspiring voice actors who wanted to be part of the production. To distance himself from the situation, Nova gave his side of the story on the 14th of March 2023, with his upload titled, Why I Left Ohio the Anime. About two to four weeks ago, I cut ties with Ohio the Anime. I tried to make an explanation about it, but TikTok took down the video without informing me. According to Nova, he was brought on as a director early on in the project and wasn't made aware of the other shady practices that were going on. While the explanation seemed valid, it didn't stop the trolls from mass disliking the video. Around this time, members of the commentary community like Sensitive Society picked up on the story, broadcasting it to a much larger audience. He's someone who shouldn't be online. Touch some grass, go outside, make some friends at church, instead of getting kicked out. Unbeknownst to both Sensitive and Nova, this video would start a rather strange back and forth between the two. On the 22nd of March 2023, Sensitive Society released his second video on Nova titled, Nova Online Messaged Me. The first half of the video goes over Nova scamming a fellow creator on Cameo, after he failed to properly deliver a video request. So just for fun, I actually requested a Cameo from Nova and I actually paid about $70 and what I got was quite disappointing. She then shared the abysmal cameo that Nova provided her with. Hey Kat and Chip, I saw you finally requested a cameo, but hey, I just wanted to shout out your TikTok. Um, I'm not sure what the name is, but hey, big shout out to you Kat and Chip and uh, thank you for being a fan. And of Kadri signing off. The other half of the video was spent documenting Sensitive Society's attempt to get his own cameo out of Nova. I spent $31 in this cameo. It wasn't 17, I paid for extra shit. And then I get this notification from Noah Gage. You don't think I f know you? 
<laughs> no, I guess he's been a fan of the channel for a hot minute now. Ultimately, Sensitive failed to get a video out of Nova. Then a few minutes later, he says, explain yourself. I said, I just want my cameo, Nova. And this is the last message I got from him. You don't think I fucking know you? Bullshit. I'm not taking this request. Their third and final interaction would come on the 12th of August, 2023, when Sensitive gave an update on how Nova was spreading rumors about being pressed for an interview. Oh, this is Noah's account. Sensitive Society is peer pressuring me. This was August 1st at 8.59 his time. Then he says he wants to do an interview with me and clear the allegations out. Problem is, I'm always misunderstood and the reason he keeps making videos on me is because he wants money. You're talking like I talk about you every single day. In hindsight, Nerve was being offered a legitimate opportunity to tell his side of the story and potentially get heat off his back, but he threw it all away for validation from the little fans he has left. In the end, Nova got the notoriety that he wanted, but it ended up being a lot more than what he bargained for. Instead of a legion of adoring fans, Nova got an army of trolls that were a product of his lack of self-awareness. Had Nova taken a break from the internet or properly addressed what he did, then maybe there would have been a slight chance for him to turn things around. Unfortunately, he chooses to label anyone who disagrees with him as a troll. Ironically, this only serves to boost the negativity around his platform, as almost all of his posts are filled to the brim with people either making fun of him or calling him a PDF file. Similar to many aspiring creators, Nova wanted recognition, and one lucky TikTok video put him on the map, but it unknowingly exposed aspects of himself that he'd rather keep out of the public eye. Will Basut lost his entire audience in just one month. Click the video on screen to find out more.